One last example regarding manuscripts. We decided to scan this fragment, one of these actually, the one on the left. They're Spanish, um, they come from a royal um, monastery. So they're quite important, but again, we've lost most of their context. And um, the manuscripts came, the fragments, sorry, came into the manuscripts conservation studio at the Fitzwilliam Museum. Um, because they've both been pasted on board, <coughs> or, or a thick card, um, which has been partially removed from behind one of them. The, the question for conservatives was, do, you know, can we remove it? Can we completely remove it, or should we just leave it alone? And if you look at these closely, um, both of the objects are actually collages. So the central miniatures are one image, but then each border is made up of eight or ten different pieces. Um, you can see some of it here. So the question for me um, was how much retouching had gone on in order to make these different body spaces sort of match and look pretty. Because, I mean, this looks like it's you know, one design, um, even though the rest of the design doesn't necessarily match. Um, so how much retouching had gone on, basically, in order to, um, to make the collages? And this is how much retouching <laughs> um, has gone on which is, I'm afraid, quite a bit, and also not just in the borders. We were quite surprised, because we were really looking for it at the edges between the main miniature and the various pieces of border, but actually, basically, all of these white scrolls have been completely repainted in zinc white. The top half of this little chap here is quite modern. Um, there's this a lot, um, especially along the borders, but again, quite a bit, um, even in the center. Um, and also, the fact that they've been collaged so much means they are not removing the back end, actually, because they would just probably fall apart completely. So by putting together different maps, we identified a number of pigments. By sort of comparing the ones we identified with those we didn't identify, which are pigments introduced in the second half of the 19th century, we're guessing um, that the intervention dates about the 1840s, just before um, the fragments were acquired by Reverend Dewey, which was the first owner we know of. So we, we know they were made in Avila, and then we lose track of them, and we just know that Reverend Dewey acquired them at some point um, in the mid-19th century, and the museum um, purchased them from um, his son. So we, we, we are assuming now that the collages were made and, and we have touched up um, in order for the fragments to go into the market, basically, in order to make that nice and pretty and something you can put on your wall before Reverend Dewey um, acquired it. It wasn't him.